So another video today about traveling. So previously I have done another video about traveling, which is me giving some tips about traveling cheap and how you can save money while you are on a trip. This video I am going to be talking about solo traveling, which is something a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is talk about solo traveling, talk about my experiences when it comes to solo traveling, and essentially you're gonna try and convince you to actually try it for once, because it is one of those things that if you haven't done it before, then how do you know that it's not for you? A lot of people say that it's not for them, but I feel like it is something that everybody should try. If you have tried it and you say it's not for you, then fair enough, maybe it really isn't for you, but with everything in life, right? I mean, if you haven't tried it, if you don't have personal experience about it, then how do you know that it's not for you? A lot of people have different opinions about different things, and oftentimes it's not based on their personal experiences. Solo traveling sometimes is one of those things, because people are not willing to try it, or don't have the balls to try it, or don't want to, or scared, or just lazy, there are so many different factors, but the point is, this is a very good thing to do for you, and there are so many different benefits to it. So, in terms of my experiences when it comes to solo traveling, I have done it a couple of times, I have not done it that many times, and I'm not a big solo traveling guy, which I feel like will make this video a bit more relatable, because I'm a person, I'm a guy just like you watching, who's potentially looking to get into it, who's looking to do it a couple of times, and there are people out there who do it all the time, they love solo traveling, that's good as well. I have done it two times in my life, and it has been amazing both times. And it's something that everybody should do out there. There are some things out there that everybody should do as solo traveling. It is one of those things to do at least once in your life and to try by yourself. So I really, really recommend it. And what I'm going to do in this video is list out the benefits of it, which then is going to help you to draw conclusions based on your personal experiences. So what I'm going to do is list out some of the more obvious benefits that you're probably familiar with and some of it is common sense. And then I'm going to go a little bit, little bit more deep to have, you know, to list out some of the other benefits as well. So one of the basic ones is simply the fact that you are by yourself. This is a benefit and a disadvantage. Traveling with friends is good because you are with friends, but when you're by yourself, you, you make all the decisions, there's no one to wait around for you, and you get to look around a bit more and see more sights than you would have done with your friends. This is a simple benefit. I mean, some people really like this kind of stuff. Some people prefer having a slow holiday with friends. Everyone's different, so this is a very obvious benefit that if you're a person who like to see a lot, then you are able to get through more by yourself because there's no one to wait around for. Another one, if you're a young person, maybe you finish university, you don't really have a purpose, you don't really know what you want to do, traveling is a very good way to find inspiration. There has been studies about traveling. You know, a lot of people feel stuck in life and there's been studies that say just travel. Traveling is a very good way to find inspiration. There are so many questions in your head sometimes, right? You don't really know what to do next. Maybe you have a nine to five that you're stuck in and you don't really know how to progress further. You don't really know what you want. You don't even know what you want, right? There are times when just by traveling, going to different countries, seeing a different perspective, talking to different people, it's a very good way to find that inspiration that, is, that you need. It is a very good way to find the answers to the questions that you may have. And in hindsight, it might, look, might not look like it's gonna help you, but trust me, actually try traveling and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's a very good way to find inspiration. And as I mentioned again, social skills is another thing. So many people out there these days don't really have many social skills or very good social skills. We had COVID-19, a lot of people are working from home. There, are, there aren't as many interactions these days socially as there was maybe 20 years ago. Because of this, people are more awkward, not able to talk to people, especially probably young people, 18 year olds, 20 year olds. You know, they don't have the ability to be captivating or interesting when they talk. And one way to improve your social skills is by traveling by yourself. You know, when you're going with your friends, you are with your friends, you are in your comfort zone and you are going to talk to those friends. This is good because you get to talk to them, but it does limit you with you talking to people from that specific country. You are going to be stuck with your friends, more or less. Sometimes you talk to people here and there, but not so much. When you're by yourself, you almost have to talk to people, right? I mean, you've got to be by yourself otherwise. Sometimes you ask for directions, sometimes you meet a random person in a random area, you start talking, you have a conversation with someone local and find out something interesting about them, and you learn to start conversations and learn to become more interesting. I guess if you're an awkward person, become a bit less awkward. So if this is something that you feel like is an issue with you, that is something that you want to improve, then solo traveling is something that I definitely, definitely recommend because you are able to improve the skills so well and also in a way, right, you're in a situation where you don't really know anyone and no one really knows you. So you feel like there's less pressure in you. You can kind of be yourself, do your thing. And then once you spend your time on holiday, you come back home and you can apply these skills into where you live. And, you know, you can come back with improved social skills. And obviously you have to do it more than once or twice. But just by doing solo traveling, it's a very good way to improve your social skills. And you'll be surprised actually how many people you end up talking to because... 
when you know when you don't have anyone to talk to you're gonna be a bit feel a bit lonely and because of this you're gonna be i mean sometimes you even get lost or you need to get from a to b and you don't really know how to do it you end up asking directions from people maybe some people can't really speak english then you have to use a bit more of your skills to explain yourself there are so many different interactions which help you to kind of demonstrate these skills which will help you to achieve a better social well, better social skills in general so as i was saying if that's one of the issues then it's a very good way to improve it Another obvious one is simply just growing up as a person. I mean, let's say you're a young person, 18 to 20, you haven't really moved out from your parents' house yet, you don't really know how to get by in life, you haven't had any experiences, any real stressful experiences in life. When you go traveling by yourself, you organize everything, the flights, the hotels, so you learn some of the different skills, organizational skills, you are by yourself, so you will have to do things by yourself, so you learn what it is like to be an adult in a way, so if you're a person who doesn't have many life experiences in general, do something like this, do solo traveling, do a weekend trip or something. I mean, even if you go uh, interrailing, it's a very good way to go to different cities and you are in charge of everything. You are, you know, you are living the adult life for once in your life. It's a very good way to learn the skill of being an adult, if that's even a thing to say. Another one is being comfortable alone. A lot of people out there are very social and they don't really feel comfortable by themselves. And even if they get a day where they don't really meet anybody, they just feel a bit bad about themselves. And the reality is, everybody should be comfortable with themselves, in my opinion. And one way to learn this is by being by yourself. When you're on, you know, when you're solo traveling, oftentimes you're going to be talking to some people here and there, of course, because you have to, because you're by yourself. But there'll be times when you'll be eating on your own. A lot of people are not very comfortable going to a restaurant and eating by themselves, sitting down there. People will feel a bit awkward because they start to think, oh, what is everyone going to think about me? And we're going to start caring what people think. So... Being comfortable alone is very, very important. I mean, being with friends is a lot of fun and going on holiday with friends is incredibly great. And you, again, come back with a lot of stories from these holidays and it's very interesting and you're always going to talk about it with your friends. But in the same time, you have to have experiences that are a little bit different to the norm sometimes. And this is solo traveling. People out there do things that everybody else is doing. Why don't you try something that other people are not really comfortable with? The only way you can stand out from other people is by doing things that they are not doing right. I mean, go on holiday with friends, do it every year, of course, but if you can, sometimes you can do something a bit more bold. Solo traveling is, a, is a, the example in this video, but it does not have to be specifically that. The point of this video, I guess, is to do things that are a little bit out of line, a little bit different to what most people are doing. This is the only way you can really improve and stand out from people. So being like everybody else is comfortable and nice, but if you want a bit more, a bit more ambitious, then I feel like you do have to do other things. Which I mean, if you are doing solo traveling, that is one way you can be more interesting and stand out from people. These kind of experiences make you a more interesting person. And, you know, I mean, when you're under stress or in a situation where you're not comfortable with, these are the situations where you grow in, right? I mean, growth happens on the other side of the comfort zone. And it's that simple. We all know this, right? But you have to actually apply it to the real world. Just by knowing, it does not mean that you're going to improve. You have to actually use this information to apply it. Yeah. But the next point is, is actually learning to start conversations with random people and becoming better social, becoming more charismatic. What do I mean by this? Let me give you a very good example. Let's say you go into a bar or a pub, you know, there are some regulars, people who go there all the time. Often these are old retired people, they would have had a lot of life experiences, lived a long life, maybe they're 60, 70. And you realize that these people are very good at talking to people, are always smiley and they are very friendly and they're able to start conversations with pretty much everybody. And you wonder how can they do this? And you realize that these people are often old and the reason they are good at starting conversations is because people who are 60, 70, they would have had so many life experiences, would have talked to so many people from different walks of life, would have you know, had a lot of social interactions and a lot of ways of talking to people. Over the years, they've accumulated the skill and they're at a point now where they're able to start a conversation and talk to anybody and be captivating around anybody. You know, good storytelling skills, interesting people, and they are able to win people over and, as I was saying, just talk to anybody. This is a skill that is so necessary in everything in life. I mean, for being a likable person, being good, at, being good at talking, being good at starting conversations is necessary everywhere. I mean, job interviews, making friends, having a girlfriend. There's so many different things out there that is going to help you. Being socially a person who is likable is a key to so many different things. And when you're going these traveling trips, you do get to talk to people from different walks of life, different you know people from different countries. And what this is going to do for you is achieve the skill of being able to talk to different people from different walks of life earlier than this old person would have done because you on purpose, going outside of the comfort zone to talk to different people on these holidays, right? Let's say you go to Spain, you talk to people in Spain, you meet a random person in the bar, you have a conversation with them, you learn something from them, you learn how to start conversations. Then you go to, 
Latvia, you talk to someone there as well. Again, different perspective, different way of talking, different way of life. You do talk to these people and you learn the skill of starting conversations. So it's very, very, very important. And it's a very good way to acquire this. Just by traveling, you can acquire this skill of an old person who would have had a lot of life experiences. You know, I mean, everything is about life experiences, right? A lot of people are young, but a lot of people are young, but had a lot of life experiences. This makes them more interesting. So it's important to go out there and talk to different people because you can acquire the skill of being able to start conversations really, really well. And last but not least, we have a very interesting one, which is storytelling. So storytelling, again, it's very simple to the social situation. It's a very good way to become a captivating person, become likable. Everybody loves a person who's able to tell a story in a very interesting and charismatic way. And how do you acquire this skill? You always wonder, you look at a person and you think, how can this person be so good at telling this story? Everyone wants to be around a person like that, right? And the answer is sometimes people just have a natural talent for it, but most of the times, well, all the time really, to be able to be a good storyteller, you actually need to have stories to begin with. I mean, if you don't have any stories, then you're not gonna be able to practice telling stories. So you're not gonna learn any storytelling skills. The only way you learn storytelling skills, what you need to do first is actually acquire some stories because after that, you get to practice telling these stories. And once you practice telling these stories, then you can improve these skills and you can keep yourself accountable and get better at this. When you are going on one of these holidays, you're gonna come back with so many different stories. I mean, when you go with friends, you, again, you come back with stories and you get to improve your storytelling skills by telling these stories. But when you're by yourself, it's a little bit different. From hindsight, you wouldn't think that you'd come back with a lot of stories, but trust me, you would be surprised. It can be so many random things. It can be something really, really simple, like, oh, I got lost and I had to ask for directions. Maybe you got a taxi from A to B and a taxi driver was a specific way. Or, you know, you almost got robbed. There are so many different things that are going to happen to you when you're by yourself. One of the reasons being is because you're in a situation which you're not comfortable with, so you don't know the norms, the way things are working. So some things are gonna happen which at the time are sometimes a little bit stressful and scary, but these are things that will help you to come back with stories, you know. Interesting stories always begin with something that is a bit crazy or something that is a bit wow, right? And you know, you have to do stuff that is outside of the norm. If you do what everybody else is doing, and you're not gonna come back with interesting stories. You have to do something a little bit different, a little bit more bold in a way, right? So once you come back with these stories, then you get to practice telling these stories. And you are going to tell these stories to your family, your friends, and essentially your social skills and your communication skills are gonna improve as well, which again, as I was saying earlier, help in all areas of life. A lot of people worry about going to the gym, building the body of their dreams, but I feel like not many people are, not as many people work on their charisma so-called, and, and one way to do this is by actually improving your storytelling skills. So I hope you find this video useful, and I hope I actually convince you to try solo traveling for once, because I mean, as I was saying, if you don't have personal experience about something, do not say that it's not for you. You have to actually try it for yourself, and once you try it, then you can draw your own conclusions based on those experiences. So that's just the more of the message in this video, so I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you are currently considering actually trying it once, let me know if you've done it before, let me know your thoughts on it in general, but this is what it was for this video. If you enjoy content to do with self-improvement, I talk about many different things like going to the gym, working out, sports like boxing and football, fashion, traveling, like this video for example, or just general self-improvement. If you like that type of content, and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you in the next video, which will release next week.